Primo Medical Group is a full service contract manufacturer to the medical device industry. We've been in business for 68 years. Our core competencies here are design and development services, CNC machining, precision machining, clean room assembly, warehousing and logistics. But the roots of the company, the history of the company is, is firmly based in precision CNC machining. And most of the stuff we're doing is complex, tightly toleranced, high precision parts. That's the type of work we end up with. We're working in stainless steel, uh, cobalt chrome, titaniums, and exotic materials as well. We also machine a lot of uh, plastics, UHMW plastics and peak plastics. We make a UHMW part in here and we make a cobalt chrome part in the outer surface cell on the other side of the wall. For every cobalt chrome bone implant on one side of the joint, there is a mating UHMW part on the opposite side of the joint. The cobalt chrome is very hard and rigid, and the UHMW is almost like a cushion surface for that cobalt chrome. So the two of those in combination create a nice smooth movement from bone to bone. In this room, we machine UHMW polyethylene implants. It's in this room because it's a controlled room. Uh, they're not allowed to have any contact with any sort of fluid, so it's all the machining processes on these parts are done dry with nothing but air for any sort of coolant. In the Haas machines, the VM2 and the Mini Mill, we do the bearing surfaces as well as the bonding surfaces on these implants. We have two VM2 machines as well as two Super Mini Mill 2s in the arthrosurface uh, bone implant cell. In that cell, we start with bar stock and we end with a finished implant. We use a 3 plus 2 on the VMs, which allows us to machine all the surfaces on the first side of the implant. And then we use the Haas Super Mini Mill 2s to do the 3D bearing surface on the opposite side. So we originally started uh, purchasing the VM2 machines because they're slightly more rigid. They have a larger ball screw, which allows us to get a better finish and a little bit more accuracy so we can hold those, those fussy tolerances, those 5 tenths tolerances on locations and, and, uh, and hold a few tenths on, on diameters or slots that we're milling. So on the cobalt chrome implants, when they're all finished and polished, they require a 0.1 UM mirror finish on the bearing surface. So when we went to a VM2, uh, it significantly increased our quality of surface finish from the milling machine, which allows us to do a lot less work in the polishing. What's important to us is the capability of the machines, that they can hold those tight tolerances, the flexibility of those machines, that I can have quick turnarounds, you know, quick breakdowns and setups, the on time of the machines, they got to be reliable, and Haas fits the bill.